Alrighty, everybody. It is indeed another week of FCS football. We are getting closer and closer to the playoffs. And we do know a couple of things now. More teams have opted out. So Cal Poly, Albany, and Chattanooga have all opted out, you know, after, you know, pretty disappointing, you know, season so far. It's rather unfortunate. Games are getting postponed left and right again. So there's that. Um, yeah, it's going to be an interesting week, I'll tell you that much. Um, I believe the James Madison Richmond game just got postponed today. Um, the South Dakota game got postponed as well. So, yeah. But, undefeated VMI is playing, and that's going to be, you know, one of the best things we've seen this year. Could it, you know, we've seen a lot from VMI this year. They're number 10 in the country. They're 5 and 0. Oh, and yet, East Tennessee State is right behind them, second place in the SOCON right now. And this could be interesting. This could be very interesting to see, you know, what in the world's going to happen here as far as this game goes. And yeah, you know, no recent Dinsky for VMI. He suffered a season ending ACL tear. So it's rather unfortunate. So Seth Morgan's going to have to step in like he did last week against Wofford. I mean, again, ETSU, they're, they're pretty interesting. They, they kept games close and everything like that. So what I think is going to happen here is that, all, is that these two are just going to have one hell of a game. It's going to be one hell of a game, let me tell you that much. Um, for the Pioneer League... Big time game here, San Diego Davidson. You know, San Diego still undefeated in the Pioneer League. You know, the, 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 I mean, they they've gotten they got some things. You know, right there. You know, both these teams are technically undefeated in conference play. You know, Davidson had has the lead technically due to you know having another win notched up. Oh. <sighs> mm. So the the it's it's gonna be interesting. This game is, and remember, you know, playoff spots are on the line here. So, you know, Davidson is a challenging opponent. I'll tell you that much. Tyler Phelps, thirty fourth career start. You know, and it's a good option attack. You know, for for Davidson, I'll tell you that much. You know, because, I mean, it, it's going to be interesting to see how this game goes. And I technically missed the game last week where San Diego broke their record, or rather broke the record for consecutive league wins, which is rather unfortunate because, I mean, I want to see this game. But in any case, it's going to be interesting to see, you know, what in the world happens to end it all off for, you know, for this team, for these two teams. Can't watch a game on Pluto TV, though. Number 9, Eastern Washington. Number 11, UC Davis. That's 4 p.m. on you on um, Pluto TV. So if you want to watch that, you know, go on ahead to Pluto TV. Thankfully, we have something because, you know, Flow Sports and ESPN Plus have not been doing it for me. And this honestly feels like a playoff matchup. You know, there's less spots to go around this time around. Teams are indeed opting out. You know, so that further, you know, complicates things. What well, man. Man. There could be four big sky teams, you know, that are fighting for, you know, maybe one or two playoff spots at the end of the day. Maybe even three. And UC Davis, Eastern Washington, they, this is going to be what hell of a game. Let me tell you that much. So, I mean, the Eagles, you know, the... They're racking up yards at a record space, you know, 584 yards a game, 44 points a game as well. You know, I mean, Eastern Washington's quarterback, Eric Berry, he's throwing the ball a lot more, you know, than what he has been because he hadn't been throwing the ball. Looked at some highlights, he hasn't been really throwing the ball that much, but now he's coming into his own. UC Davis, you know, they have 
they have a couple of running backs in the backfield, you know, that I mean, Larrison and Gilliam, you know, those guys are pretty interesting to watch. I've seen some highlights of them. You know, and they they are pretty interesting to watch. Pretty interesting, you know, the tag team attack, you know, you always like to see that type of thing, you know, with running the football. That is going to be fun. This game is going to be fun. And, of course, another Jackson State game on ESPN. I know there wasn't one last week, but there is this week. Boy, boy, oh, boy. Dion and company back on ESPN. So somehow we, somehow we get Southern and Jackson State on ESPN. Both teams are 3-1 and right now. Uh... <clears throat> Uh, this game actually doesn't count as a conference game, apparently. I don't know why it doesn't count as a conference game, but whatever. Whatever. You know, Larry Skelton's still at Southern. I don't know how he's still at Southern. I, I Like, I watched this guy in the 2019 SWAC Championship, and he looked absolutely terrible. I mean, he was throwing interceptions. He was looking awful. So I don't know how in the world he's still here. I thought the man was a senior, but I guess not. And we all know about Dion and company by now. They've gotten, you know, things together and stuff like that. And yada, yada, yada. So, yeah, that's that's basically, you know, it here. Oh, there's that, That's my five games to watch. Of course, you know, there's Murray State, Austin P also on Sunday, I believe. If that game is supposed to be on Sunday, I'm not sure. Um, yeah, and the number of opt-outs have reached, what, in the 30s? We're about 30 teams in now, so, yeah, there, there's that, you know? At least 30 right now, but, um, yeah, that'll, that'll pretty much do it here, you know? So, you know, still those teams that opted out, you know... Don't don't think of it as quitting, please. Stop thinking it. Think, stop thinking that this is quitting. We're still on a pandemic. It's not quitting. The risk was going to be there. We knew, we knew. You know, the risk is going to be here, and probably more games are getting canceled as we speak. But I'm gonna get this video out today anyway. So yeah, yeah. So there we have it. Um, Y'all take care, have a good weekend, and I'll see you for the National Championship Preview, baby, because that is, that is indeed this week. So, yeah, we're getting, we're getting to the end, baby, we're getting to the end, or rather, I might make a video at the National Championship, I know I said I was going to make a video, I've been, trying, I've, I've been wanting to do it all week, but I didn't feel like it, so, you know, yeah. <laughs> Uh, again, y'all take care, have a good day, and I'll see you soon.